Oh, we need to have our morning conversation. When a certain lady on Sunday, and I said, this one we must discuss this week at some point because she doesn't know what to do. And I think a lot of women are in this situation. Here you are. You've had a boy mm. or a girl with a married man. Yes, sir. And you've moved on with your life. He's moved on with his life. Her problem is, and especially as I think this is common with boys, they get to a point they want to know who their father is. At what age should you take them to the man and say, this is your father? Because you won't come for the boy. The boy has to look for him. But at what age? And guys, do you want her to bring a boy to your office or your house and say, this is your father? Watch <laughs> I'm just asking a question. So that boy is never supposed to be part of your life. Maina, let things just move. Watch as we to Zijipeleke. Watch as Sasa Kuliza Nikama. You know, there needs to be a deadline. That is a very huge thing. Unajaribu Kwanza. Unachokora hivi. Unagusa Gusa hivi. Apa Nyoma Yanini. Yambo. That's what you are doing. I'm not doing anything. She asked me a question. At what age should I take him to the father and say, this is your father, where this is your son? Watch a hizo mambo ya kupeleka. Watch a jilete. Ita jileta aje? Takuja. There is a way it comes. The child never knows where you are. Only the mother knows. There is a way it will come. How? Where watch a? So you tell me how. Ita jilete. How? How? Take me through the methodology of how ita jifanya. Ita jileta. Take me through the process. You know, una, una behave, you know, it's not an exam. Eh? It's not that you make a deadline that you can him. So you don't want that boy to ever appear in your life. It will happen. When? It will how? In a no, so you explain to me how in a Because they are different. They are different. Hata wengine wana kutanaga na baba ya wakiwa 50 years. Wengine 30, wengine 20. So, usia, wacha kueka ni kama, you know, you know, kuna ka condition ka, wacha na nae, itakuja, itakuja, itakuja. Are you, a, are you a single mother with a baby with a pregnant with a married man it will bring itself at what age do you intend to take that boy or that girl and I, tell them this man is watch, your father watch a kuambia evil minor stop telling them that at what point will you take a tumpeleke baba yake no watch a. it will come come how when they are 50 watch a. there is a way it happens god has a way of bringing everything together peleka marepe muwaribu kila kitu Take it slowly. Slowly too. Slowly too. Guys, do you ever leave wondering, will she ever bring that boy to me? Eh, eh, at a season you're to by the way. Aha, uh -huh, who? Ay, you. Go, a lot of times. With your selfishness. We go, we go. We go. go, you go where? We go, we go. You go where? Uyo kijana, atuta atakuja tu. Ata uyo mustiana kabla arusi yake, atuta kwa tumesot. There is a way it works. I don't know how, but it works. If you're a single mother with a baby by a married man, do you intend to ever take that boy or that girl to that man watch, and say, this watch, is your father? Watch your mambo ya kupeleka mutoto, no, when no one is ready. No, watch her. Why can't you give it time? Why can't you give it That's time? That's the question I'm asking this morning. At what age? Watch your mambo ya what age? So no, you're giving it time. Leave it. It will come. Things will fall into place. How? How I'm not God. Uh, there's a way he works. There's a way God works miracles. Unakuto, now everyone will be comfortable at that point. Sayu you see as a kuarakisha at yam maliza standard eight, yam fika for four, lasma kuja graduation, yam toto standard what? Watch, I leave that one. Leave it. Itakuja at the right time, you know, and we will all live happily thereafter. Watch a kwaza kwa patia ma deadline. Kai yuko office unalete wa hapa kingani junior. Single mothers, I'd love to hear from you this morning. Does it ever cross your mind? Do you ever wonder? Has your child ever asked about the father? What did you tell them? And do you know where he is? That's a very difficult question, by the way. Unauliza, you unauliza, hivi ki ki araisi, raisi. It's very difficult. 0711-046105 is my number. Give me a call. And I don't know how you don't understand. Leave it. Give it time. Things will fall into place. But you know, the right you're not explaining the mythology of how things fall into place. I am not God. 
So why don't you just bring the child to you? Abana. Why don't you want her to I bring the child to you? Yeah, yeah, At the right time, it will happen. Give this thing time. You see, your mutiani, your maisha. It will come. It will come. Nitamujua, tutajuana. Now we give the But you don't know how or when. You cannot explain that. Unfortunately. If you want to contribute via SMS, my short code is double two four nine four. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or Twitter handle hey. at it's my neck again well, or so classic one o five Kenya. So now they want us to be buyer. Hi. Where? My hashtag is hey. mine and is single mothers with babies nine. by married men. You know it's gotta happen. Hey. At what point? At what age? Okay. Is he or she already asking about the father? What are you saying? Hey, where? Girls, talk to me because we need to sort that out once and for all, eh? So we asked the question this morning, when is the right time to take your child to their bi biological father and say, this is your father? Because children, especially boys, they ask about their dad. But you know he's married, he's got a, a life and a family out there. When do you take that child to his office or to his house, hey. knock on his door, hey. and say, where to win Baba Yako? And why don't men like that? At what point will you meet your children? Why am I not liking this topic? Because men don't like responsibilities. And I don't know how you can defend that. Are you in a similar situation, ladies? Are you a single mother? With a child by a married man, when do you intend to take that child to him and say, Who you do your babayako? Do you believe in God's timing is best? Yes, but then sometimes you gotta push the envelope. Right. At what age is it is the right time if you're a single mother with a baby by a married man? At what age do you take them to this man's office or this man's house and say, Who you do your babayako? At all age. Because especially boys ask. Boys ask about their father. What do they know? Why? <laughs> and for your information, uh, men know they have children out there. We so know. why don't you ever reach out for them? We know. So why don't you ever reach out to them? We know. We know. We're just waiting for the right time. Okay? So, so. When is the right time? So, 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 so. No, when is the right time? You na sema akuna araka itajileta. So so. Itajileta. Ikijileta, we will deal with it accordingly. Got your well. champ. I got your tweet saying there is no hurry in Africa. The right time will come. Yes. Jukuna Daniel saying, Mali mefika, itabidi to shike bibi to peleke maina. Akai now. Douglas keep like you saying, Maina, mbona unawasha moto. So long as he contributes on the upkeep of the child, then stop kuchokoza. Ule mwamungine. He will still look for him when he's grown enough. Why for now, Why do you want to start fire, man? I'm not starting a fire. It's just that I'm I'm sick of you guys evading your responsibility. There's a woman somewhere struggling to raise your own child. You're living a good life. Your children, the other women, are living like little princes and princesses, and this young boy or girl is suffering. And you're saying one day they'll come to me. One day is when? Hey. Tell you ladies, let me tell you that child is when the Ingia standard one. Take him to that man. Because you can't struggle like this and you know this man is a CEO somewhere. Hey. And why do you agree to be put in this situation, girls? Hey. Why? Seriously. Have you thought of it like that? No, I, I, I knew you can spoil someone's morning, but I didn't know you can literally kill someone's spirit. Peter Ayoma, um, you're saying, have no words. Why do you like inciting these women? Everything yes. will fall into place at the right time. Yes. Beyond Yanini. Yes, 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 yes. He knows what he's saying. So why aren't you raising this child? To make one at the right time, you kitu yote tutafajika. 
rakisha hapa why you are in a hurry why are you in a hurry hai at it's my neck again your art classic 105 kenya my hashtag is mine and king angi wanye at what age you take that child to him and say age na ingilea wapi na tumesema the right time so she's 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 gonna raise this child on her own we, for how long we ngoja wewe we. acha hello hello maina hello good morning uh, well i'm uh, i'm a victim mm. uh, whereby uh the, the the dad to me disappeared when i was very young your father yeah my father disappeared i think had not been born yet so, and uh, he disappeared uh, i will meet him when i'm 37 years you met him when you were 37 actually i met him uh, like two years ago because now i'm 39 where did you meet him we met by mistake in a barrio and so you you go to this barrio there's a barrio eh. actually here in nairobi eh. and then it happened that uh, this girl was a family friend to us eh. and then by extension the family friend to the, the father i uh, know my uh my biblical father so who told you that's your father that guy looks like me let me tell you the guy is 100 percent me so we so, met so hold okay, on hold on no one told uh -huh. you no one told you that mm -hmm. is your father yeah no one told okay of course all this time i knew because my mother later on got married uh -huh. uh, my mother got married and uh, i have a father of course who brought me up uh -huh. but i knew uh the, the guy who bring me up is my father because of so many things uh the looks and all that uh, but i never asked my mother whether um um uh, who's my father i never took that time my mother never told me that so you so go you so, him, uh, so you so you go to a funeral see this guy who looks like you the, the guy looked like me okay of course all this time i knew that uh there's some my father must be somewhere so you walked but up to him so you walked up to him and told him what so when i saw him i greeted him and then from the body language you're sort of shocked i don't know if you met a guy who like your twin brother hmm. so i uh, we talked and then after that because my mom was in the same barrio went to mom and uh i brought mom to where this guy was and i remember when the two met uh both of them started crying <laughs> yeah and uh so after that of course i uh they, i left them and i went so uh before, before the end of the day i called mom and uh she gave me the story what happened uh what had happened those are the nine years that like seven years later that uh, you know what happened uh, this guy i uh, integrated me and then he disappeared while he was in college my mom was in she was in class eight then she was in class eight guy yeah so uh it was a long story of course my mom told me how she was bitter with this guy uh why she had promised never to let me know about this guy i uh, really was so irresponsible so when you met him were you angry were you happy no me, me i was not i had no feeling with him because one uh the dad who brought me up had done a good job uh he, he took me of course he married my mother with a kid uh the guy educated me as i'm talking uh, i'm a surgeon i'm a doctor uh because of my father who brought me up so i had no feeling with that guy he was very responsible he didn't care he never followed up with me for that seven years so after we met of course he's uh of late he's been trying to call me uh trying to catch up with me but i had no feelings for him and i didn't i couldn't thank my mother for never letting me know this guy because she was so irresponsible so are you in contact with your real father nowadays no i think my, my biological father uh, okay this is a father who brought me up yes i he agree but mother. then yeah. the man you met he, at the the man you huh? met the man you met at the funeral are you still in touch with him today no often he tries calling me but i don't like him he, he's a he's a he was such a responsible man because uh, actually why not for the guy who married my mom i would not be where i am i would have gone to college i would have gone to the university and all that because i understand my mom got married and was a big boy okay thank you the hell you see the damage you're causing you men out there spreading eggs like frogs talk to me if you're a single mother with a baby by a married man First of all, I don't know why you let guys get away with such crap. You're left raising children on your own. And you know where that Fokojembe is. But fine, you do it. You good-hearted souls.
But at what age do you take that boy or that girl to him and tell them this is your father? Because it's got to happen at some point. It's got to happen at some point. Hello. Hello, Malik. My in the morning. Good morning to you. I'm a mother of two. Yeah. Tell that. And uh, the f- the boy knew the dad. We left him when he was four years. The girl was three months. Yeah. So currently, as I'm speaking, the girl is five years, and she's been asking for the father. Yeah. So what I intend to do actually is to take her back when she's seven, so that at, at least by that time she can conceptualize. Yeah. I got seven now. I I'll call the dad. I'll make them meet so that at least they get to know each other. But at the end of the day, the bitterness is there. Let me ask because, you a question. Yes, please. Does your son miss his father? The the son the son knew the father because he left when he was four years. So does he ask where why daddy left? The circumstances. The dad wanted to kill me, so he uh, knew. At the dad wanted to kill him. Yes. How? Kill me, not not him. Kill me, me the mother. Why did you want to kill you? Because I had gotten pregnant with another child that he didn't want. Now the girl. Yeah. So to him, I was responsible. And he's ma- and he was married at the time. No, he wasn't married. He, I think he must have married after we left. You remember? I called you a few back last week. I, in fact, I was telling about a book I'd written. Yes, and I got the manuscript. You got it, Maina? Yes, so I'm going to sort you out. Oh, God, thank you. I thought you didn't get it because the email was not going through. No, no, I got it. Oh, thank you, but, and you've read it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm in the process, so I'll let you know how it goes. So you'll get the story inside there of how he used to threaten me and everything, and then we moved out. So the boy is actually bitter with him, and he keeps saying, Daddy, I want to talk to mommy. So when you got pregnant, you wonder, how did he try to kill you? Money. Well, now uh, we were in the marriage and everything. I was not giving him the money he wanted. And every time he comes home, I have the money. He doesn't have the money. He wants everything. I can't give him. So he keeps on threatening me. In front of your son that I'm going to kill you? Yes, even in front of the maid. So I kept telling him, can you keep this off the pe- the children and the maid? And he, he was not listening. So at the end of the day, Maina, the, kid, the boy is traumatized, but the girl now is demanding to know him. She's, she started when she was four. Do you know where he is right now? I used the CID to locate where he is. I know where he is because of the number. You actually used the CID? Yes, he went underground, but because I have a number that at times he used, he used to send me money, I, I sent it to the CID and they, they, they located him. So what if you call him and he says he didn't want to meet you or the daughter? He's done that before. There's a time I left the children the phone at home and they called him and they, they asked him, Daddy, where are you? He said, he, did, he didn't tell them where he was, but I know, I'll look for him. Even if it means going to his rural home, I'll trust him. And take your because daughter? Girl, and take girl is on my case. Hey, hey, hey. And by the way, was there a number on the manuscript that you can use to contact me? I'll, I'll, I'll look at it again. But I'm sure, you, I'm sure you had put your number on it, didn't you? I thought I did. Okay, if it's not there, I'll, I'll just reply to your mail. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. This is a lady who has written a manuscript. She's trying to get it published. It's called 16 Months in Marriage. And I'm going to get it published. That is crazy. Will you also ask the husband to contribute? Because I'm to take a and the moja, you know, you know, not not but you na take time. You wish yet to use the CID to track him down. You na mi na kuambiaga don't be na hurry kufanya vitu. Ewe sawa sawa. Because also the man needs to tell you ata ye ye. Kwani unandika di ya didi. Don't print something you don't have stories from both sides. That's what I'm saying. What do you mean? Hi, Haki ladies, what do you go through? Who will save Kenyan men? Anyway, the things we go through here. Hi. Talk to me.